We return now to the disturbing case of the Devon family. The children's adoptive mother is accused of killing these children and concealing their deaths. Today, Avante Devon stood before a judge just a day after her arrest. WRL's Gilbert Bay is joining us live now from Fayetteville. And Gilbert, you were inside the courtroom today. You heard what the judge had to say about these charges. Tell us what you heard. Yeah, a very disturbing case. You know, the arrest comes several months after Fayetteville police executed search warrants and made gruesome discoveries at several of the homes where those children used to live. Now, as far as the appearance in court today, Avante Devon seemed very calm as she entered the courtroom, stood in front of District Court Judge Caitlin Evans, and the judge read the charges against her. Two counts of first-degree murder, concealment of death, kidnapping, and felony child abuse. Investigators say Blake and London Devon are deceased. They had been missing for years. Years, but their adoptive mother never reported that they were gone. Authorities say during their investigation, they found a metal burn barrel with partial human remains. They believe the children were physically abused uh, by their adoptive mother. Investigators say London uh, Devon died by starvation and neglect. District Attorney Billy West said the case is one of the most heinous he's ever prosecuted. All of us have, have soft spots for children, and the cases with children are the most difficult that we deal with. So the fact that this involved allegations of uh, the abuse and, uh, and the death of children um, was certainly the thing that they grabbed my attention first, particularly the, the manner uh, in which the allegations uh, suggest that they, they died. Now, Vante Devin remains held without bond. That did not change. That's how she was brought into court yesterday. She's going to make her next court appearance on July 17th. But if she's convicted on just the death of charges, uh, the murder charges alone, she could face the death penalty. And just a, a, a horrific story. Gilbert, thank you. Let's get now to WRAL's Chris Levengood, who has been on top of this for months now. Chris, you spoke exclusively to a former caseworker who says she was assigned to work with the Devon family. Mm -hmm. What an interesting perspective. Tell us about it. Well, Lena, I reached out to Catherine Hubbard to understand what was going on when she was involved. She drove five hours to talk to WRAL investigates on camera, and she says between 2011 and 2013, she was the foster care caseworker for the Devon family when they were in Madison County. That's where they lived prior to moving to Fayetteville. Hubbard says the Department of Social Services in our state bows out of responsibility of a child once they're adopted, which is what the state told me. And she thinks DSS should have an extended responsibility after an adoption, maybe a year or two. This woman was able to convince three different social workers, three different state agencies, three different case managers for her home as it was licensed. If extending supervision for an adoptive home could possibly prevent this, then I think that we should work towards that. And because she was the caseworker for the Devon family, I asked Hubbard what her experience was like with Avante Devon. That's me talking with her today. And she described using one word, off. Join me at five o'clock to hear what Catherine Hubbard said when I asked her to elaborate on that feeling. Chris, thank you. WRAL has been following the story since the beginning of Fayetteville Police's investigation. Chris Levengood will unpack even more background on this case on the WRAL Daily Download. You can listen to that right now wherever you get your podcasts.